The abolition of slavery started in the 1700s and continued into the 1900s when practically all across the world the abolition of slavery had occurred. But really it never happened. It was only in word. The abolition of slavery in words. A slave became a free man, yet he had nothing, and the only work he was offered was for such small pittance that he may as well stayed a slave. And that is how things have continued. They haven't changed. And even those who weren't slaves before perhaps stepped up a rung of the ladder when the slaves were brought in so they did the worst work and then slavery was abolished but still the worst work needed to be done. And even those people a few rungs up the ladder doing the more important work perhaps or the more indoors work writing and making decisions they're still enslaved they're still taking orders from above so you could argue really there are very very few people who are not taking orders from someone or who own no property yet maybe don't take orders but what power do they have so can we really say anything's gotten any better well yes people aren't owned aren't hunked around with yokes of iron around their neck but there are different yokes of iron they have different ways to control us and in these days 2020 technology has advanced slavery hasn't been abolished the caste system is still rife probably in all countries it's just not so obvious blood is thicker than water and if you are in a position of privilege you want to pass that down to your children that's only natural and anyone with that position of privilege would try and do the same thing if anyone is serious about resolving this issue they would have to say that all people are equal and no one should have the right to tell anyone else what to do we should all own a piece of the land that we depend on and all who get a piece of that land should take the responsibility seriously to do the right thing by that land and we haven't been doing that in the last 40 years we've been raping the land just trying to get more and more yield out of each year yet we see the result we eventually will be desertification we will ruin the land and it will turn to desert Fertile land is going to be needed to feed 7 billion people on the planet. Now this isn't a surprise. Back in the 1970s the hippies were very much about saving the planet. Addressing the population question. And the pollution. So it's well known we can't go on 
doing this forever. And for those of us who have looked for the alternative news are probably quite aware that the elite, those who do have the privilege of power, have a plan. And that plan is to severely reduce world population. I just think it's not going so well. I think we're not dying as easily as they hoped we would. Let's hope they give up what they plan to do and change their plan. But they probably won't because they haven't really got much empathy. Because there are differences in the human species. We do have different genetic haplogroups. And it just happens that the people with the power come from an older genetic structure, a less evolved one. And the ones they persecute, the so-called children of Israel, the black Jews, because they weren't white. They have a, a later edition of DNA, a more up-to-date version, you could argue, are more evolved. RB1 haplogroup. Scattered now. You don't know who's got it. Maybe we all could. Unless the bloodlines have been protected, you've probably got a bit of RB1 gene in you. But those who've been protecting their bloodlines, keeping them pure, thoroughbred, L1 or L2 haplogroup gene type, lacking empathy, they probably haven't got the update. Well, that's just a kind of interesting sidestep and a point I wanted to make that I find race, genetic differences fascinating, and even more so when they're mixed together. The fact that we can all mix together shows we are all one species. There's no issue there, and we should mix together so that we get the benefits of the different genes, make us make our immune system stronger, better defense against viruses. Well, nature's got it in hand. We're pretty arrogant to think that we actually could ruin the planet. The planet will kick us off before we can ruin it. But yes, main point, slavery abolished only in name and just more interesting ways to keep us down, keep us in control, keep them on top. I'd love it if we could change it. It's not going to happen overnight. The only thing you can do is control you. Treat people as you would wish to be treated. Believe in universal karma. Be happy. Don't worry. Love your neighbour as yourself. If you can love your enemy, challenge. Okay, thanks.